Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS 900 episodes. Wow, can you believe it? I can't. We're just going to hang out today. We're going to talk a lot about logic. We're going to play some music, some of your music. We're going to make some music. It's all going to happen today on the show. Hello, I hope you're all doing good. My name is Jade, this is How to App on iOS, and it is actually episode 900. I can't believe it, we have got to 900, which means this year we're going to get to 1,000. Boom. Boom. (laughs) It seems like um, 35 years ago that I started this show, I feel like I've aged about five years uh, in the three years that we've been doing. <laughs> Got to kind of think. Um, and But here we are. And I wouldn't change a thing. And not a thing because I love doing this show. Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, let's say hello to all. We're going to play some of some music today. And someone who's here, uh, Hetriani is probably going to be the first song that I play today. In fact, would you like to hear some Hetriani now before I say hello to everyone? You know what? Let's just kick it off and let's listen to the brand new track by Hetriani, Gary Hubs, and the G. And let's stomp some faces in, man. Let's do it right now. This is broken. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Metal up your ass. Boom. Fuck me drunk. <laughs> How awesome is that? I remember Hitchriani when he was a young lad, when he first came on my show and I interviewed him and uh, he was a budding young guitarist. 
you know, fresh faced. Uh, didn't have all of his chops down, and uh, now look at him. Now he's all grown up, and he's still broken. Wow, man, how sick is that, huh? What the, the production on that is wicked. The video clip's insane. It's his best work. It's absolutely sick. You can't go wrong with a little bit of Hetriani. Everybody wants a little bit of Hetriani inside them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I know you're driving, Het, so uh, enjoy your day. I was always going to play you today. We've got a bunch of songs we're going to play from people today who are from the community and hang out and stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, the princess says, oh, my word. You know, Princess, she came to the roast the other day, and the whole show was about roasting people's music. This was a show, if you're a wart warrior, you can become a wart warrior down below by joining the members button. We did this roast, right, where you send your songs in, and we roast your songs. And everybody in the chat was a complete and utter asshole. Some of the comments were horrendous. And the things we were saying on, on camera were horrendous. And there was Princess in the chat going, that was lovely. I love all of you. I like cats. And then even in the comments afterwards, she wrote, that was a wonderful time or something like that. Princess, you're adorable. Never change. Um, hello, Greg. I hope you're doing good. Uh, who else do I see here? Oh, here, here's somebody I haven't said hello to for a while. It's Dr. Zorders. Um, hello, Russ. And uh, there's Russ and Joe Glenn. And there's Leela who just did a live stream. And Valerie Bat says, I like cats too. I like cats. And Feisty Feather, who's always putting all our shows out on Facebook. This This lady, this amazing woman... Right, puts everybody's links out on her Facebook. Whoever's live, she's she's tireless. So I want to thank you for that. Leany does that as well too. Thank you so much for that. Um, there's Brad example. Thanks, Doctor Zorders. It is nine hundred. So you you guys have got me here, and I want to thank you all for helping me get to nine hundred because there's been some times where I haven't wanted to get up each day at five a.m. <laughs> Frank Turzo, hello to you. And uh, Midnight Bandit, did I not say hello to you? There we are. Boom. <clears throat> now, I do have COVID, folks, so I'm glad you, none of you are near me. Hello, Cold Acre. Cold Acre was, the f I think, the first moderator on here, even before Thomas, possibly. Even before Thomas. And then he, then he buggered off. Thanks, Princess. And Chad, hello, Chad. Um... Have I missed anyone up here, up above? I, I know there's lots of you here. So the Audible video, hello. There's Audible, the man who comes to every show and steps on steps on me before I get to the, the part of the app that I want to talk about. Uh, there's uh, Lynn. Hello, Lynn, sister. <laughs> um, who else do I see here? Uh, thank you all for coming here today and hanging out. Edward, hello. Yes, I know 900 episodes. It's crazy. It is crazy. Ed Zielinski, my man. I hope you're doing good, Ed. I can't forget you at all. Um, Pete Johns. There's Pete. Hey, this is Pete Johns. This is the guy who helped, helped me to start this show. Without Pete, I would never have started this. Why? Because um, I found Pete about 2016 or something like that. There's this funny little man sitting on the internet talking about making music in GarageBand on iOS. And I was like, you know, that's interesting. I'm making music on GarageBand iOS. I didn't think there was anybody else on the planet doing it. And I found this funny little critter. <laughs> funny little critter named Pete. Party Pete. There he is. Party Pete. Uh, hello, Rich. New design. Um and we became friends and I joined one of his uh, Facebook groups and I started helping people out with apps and because I knew a little bit. And then I moderated his channel and started uh, helping people in Pete's chat about apps because Pete's too lazy to review apps. Um, <laughs> although that changed the other day. Um, yeah, so, and then uh, when the, then the magic uh, C word hit, which I currently have, I do believe, um, and we all got locked down and I started doing this show and, um, 
it's just been a million laughs all the way. No, it's it's, and I look forward to these shows. Why do I do a, a celebration show every hundred shows? It's a bit um, anal. It's a bit uh, up your own ass, really. But it gives me a chance to, to not learn something for a day. <laughs> do you know? Um, I spend a lot of time learning how to do things. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't change the world for it because the day that you stop learning something is the day I'll be dead. You know, I I have to learn something every day, at least something. Um, today I'm learning that I don't want to learn anything today. There you go. So, but every day I'm swatting over apps, trying to learn how to use them, reading manuals, trying to take out all the, do the hard work for you guys so you get an understanding of something before you have to buy it. And um, yeah, I do love doing these because... Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if I've got the C, but, um, I, I'm pretty sure it is. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's been a, a going on going for two weeks and yeah, but, uh, because I was vaccinated recently again, um, yeah, it hasn't been anywhere near as bad. It's just a brutal cough at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I caught it from the Uber guy who delivered some food two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. It was the COVID hair came from the delivery guy. <laughs> Man, can you believe it? Like you, uh, you, uh, it wasn't Uber. It was the, the groceries. So I, uh, ordered my groceries and, uh, he not only bought my groceries with me, he bought me, uh, uh the magic, uh, disease. All right, let's jump in and talk about some stuff because yesterday something massive happened and I've been chomping at the bit to talk about this. I've been doing as much research as I can about this subject and we're going to talk about it for the first 20 or so minutes of this show and get down to it. Yesterday, out of the blue, Apple announced that they are releasing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro to iOS. And the meme is that we've been joking about this forever. When are we going to get Logic? When are we going to get Final Cut Pro? It even got so much so to the point that my friend and your friend, Pete Johns, made a very bold statement saying that it was never coming at all. Never, he said. Never. In fact, here's the proof. Every year or so, someone comes out and says, oh, the, Mac, the touchscreen Mac is coming next year. And I've been hearing that for five years now and it's not coming. And I honestly don't think, I think it's got about as much chance of coming as Logic Pro does to come to iOS personally. Oh, but wow, really? Uh, hot take, right? It's not coming, people. Let, just, just stop. Just leave it. It's not coming. There will be no Logic Pro on iOS and there will be no touchscreen on a MacBook. All right, there you go. You can cut that bit. So in cut a year's that, time, when that, yeah. both of those things are available, you can come back and say, John's doesn't know what he's talking about. Every year or so, someone... John's goes, doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, man. I had given up hope myself, uh, but I never came out and categorically stated it wasn't coming. Um, but I, I'll tell you, this, one person, if you've been over at Pete's chat ever, there used to be this guy, Barry, who'd come in the room and every show would go, Pete, do you know when... Uh, Logic's coming to iOS. Pete, do you know when it's coming to iOS? Pete, do you know when it's... Every show, for two and a half years, every show. And it got to the point where we'd have to moderate him because it was just, shut up, dude. <laughs> Let it go. I'll bet Barry is sitting there right now and he's probably got... Um, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> he's probably finished himself off with excitement. There you go. But it is happening. It's actually happening. It's unbelievable. Hello, Mateus. Uh, it's, if there's anyone, Dan Eckberg's here as well. Thanks for joining us, Dan. All right. If I've missed you, I do apologize. Now, let's open this. Let's, let's have a look at this thing. All right. So, it's coming, but there's some buts. And now, I've done a lot of research yesterday to find out as much information as I can about this. This isn't one-to-one -one logic. It is not... What you have on your Mac, on your iPad, it is not one-to-one. -one. Let's just get that out the way. It's not. There are things missing on this uh, version of Logic that will be on iOS. 
They're not on the Mac. So we'll talk about that soon. So it's okay. But don't worry, because the good news is there is a roadmap. There is a roadmap of things to come. So it will happen. It just won't happen overnight. So there it is. Now, on first look, you would be, you know, it wouldn't be a shock to say, that looks a lot like GarageBand. <laughs> and you know what? That's a good thing. Because, um, hello, Mr. Smith. I know 900. Thank you so much. I, I may be playing a bit of your music a bit later. Um, so here we have it. Now, GarageBand is a contentious issue, you know. I'm just going to say it and put it out there. I fucking love GarageBand, right? But also, I hate it with a passion. I hate it so much. But I love it more than I hate it. I always will love it more than I hate it. There's only a few things that I hate about GarageBand. And that is that there is no master bus. That is that I can't send my MIDI out somewhere else. I can't save MIDI out or anything. And some AUV3 apps I can't use as controllers to control things like Scalar, Zoa, and some of these really cool apps I can't use in GarageBand. And finally, the last thing I hate about GarageBand is every time you mix down a song, it uses auto-normalization, auto-compression, like an auto-limiter, and it adds volume to your song. And there's no way you can turn that off. But on Mac, you can do that. You can turn that off. So you have more control over your mixes. It seems over the years, Apple have decided for us with GarageBand that they don't trust us enough to be able to mix down our songs without them adding their auto-normalization, right? And that sucks. Why does it suck? Because a lot of people start on GarageBand and as they get better, they should be able to turn off that auto-normalization because they're getting better. But Apple haven't let people get better for a damn long time, yeah? Thank you, Leela, so very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you can send super chats if you want. They're never expected. They do help. I swear to God, they help. Because YouTube pay this much <laughs> for advertising. <laughs> All right. So those are the things I hate about GarageBand. But the things I love about GarageBand are it's my go-to door. I open it up every single time I want to make music that I want. I don't want to dick around with. I just open it up. And any of you who've seen my process here on the show, You'll know when I open up GarageBand, my process is fast, super, super fast. I lay vocals, guitars, everything really, really fast because it's easy and it's comfortable and there's no faff. It just works, right? I love it. I, I love it for that so much. But then it comes to mixing down and what I've been doing for my last few songs is dumping the project over to my Mac because I can turn off auto normalization. And that's a pain in the ass, right? So now we have Logic Pro for iPad and it looks incredibly similar to, to GarageBand and that I like. That I love because it's familiar to me and it's, it, it, it looks like they've added in the majority of the things that make Logic that step up from GarageBand yeah, and that's fantastic. That is what I want. I want a master track. I want to do all these. I want to turn off auto normalization. I want all the bells and whistles that come with logic. So it looks, it looks lovely. Look at it. It looks cool. Look at these things. It looks like we're getting full alchemy synth in here. We've got the EQ that is in logic. So you're getting a lot of the things that are in logic. And look, there's, look at all these tracks down here on the side. Look at this. There's even a transport bar. Look, a transport bar. <laughs> My Lord. Uh, thank you, Bo, very much for the super chat. Thank you so much. Also, Doctor's Orders, you rock. And hello, Falcro, My love. And uh, Boonesborough Beach Boy, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And it does look very colourful, doesn't it? It looks very colourful. So it's got that garage band feel to it. The thing is, it's not, if you were expecting it to look like um, Logic on, on the Mac, then that would be foolish because it's never going to be 
logic on the Mac. It, it can't be. This is a touch device, right? So it's exciting. It's very exciting. So I'm going through Apple's uh, page here. What do they say? Make beats, play instruments, record, edit, and mix all on the iPad. Create music, blah, 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 all that stuff. And then we get to here. And there's the price. And I know. Let's talk about it now. Everybody's upset. There's people crying. But there's a lot of people who are cool with this. Here in Australia, $7.99 a month. So if you're in the US and you're telling me that $4.99 a month is really bad and $49 a year is really bad, come to Australia. Because we have to pay $7.99 and $59 annually. It's a little bit more. Yeah? Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> You just ignore that. All right. So there's the price. It is a subscription. I want to ask a question, though. I want to ask a question to people. So hello, Nino. What's going on? I hope you're doing well. I want to ask a question. Has anybody here before moving to iOS or any of this stuff, right? Did you ever make music in the 15 years ago on a computer? Yeah. Did you ever buy software? Did you ever buy a little thing called Photoshop? Yeah? Photoshop. A wonderful thing called Photoshop. Well, guess what? Photoshop used to cost $300 and up, all the way up to $1,000 to buy. Hello, Robbie. Up to $1,000 to buy it. And I don't know if we just live in a world where people's brains have melted completely, but even when you bought that software for $1,000, guess what? Every year, you had to update it to the latest version. And that they you charged for it. You got charged for it, man. Right? I don't know what fucking universe people live in, right, that they've forgotten. I know TikTok has rotted everybody's fucking brains so much that they can only focus on 60 seconds of content. But seriously, we lived in a world back then where software was $1,000 more and you had to pay every year to upgrade it. So let's just get that out of the way. Hello, Indy. Thank you very much. So, 49 bucks a year, right? Seems like a small price. Now, I watched a video uh, yesterday on a guy who, who did a review of this new Logic Pro, and it was 12 minutes of him crying, going, I want to own things. I need to own it. It's a, the, the world's going to hell. I can't, you, you won't own anything soon. They're going to come and take your children. Things aren't that bad, man. Relax. It's just an app, right? It's just an app. Now, remember what I said at the start. This is not the full logic. We are not getting the full logic, right? Because there is a roadmap. And this is why they are setting up a subscription. So we'll, we'll talk about subscription possibly on Mac too because it could be a thing that is happening. But it could be a benefit. You, it could be a benefit. But I'll touch on that later. They have a roadmap. They want to know how many of us are going to buy this thing, how many are going to pay for the year so they could dedicate a team to work on this. Clearly, they've had a team working on this for a while. While we've all been bitching about this, they've had a team working on it. All right, so that's the price. It is what it is. Ultimately, you get a month for free. So all of us can give it a go for a month. Make your decision. Before you fucking stomp your feet and carry and cry, give it a month. Try it out. If it's not for you, guess what? It's not for you. Stick to GarageBand. Do whatever you want. All right. An all-new creative interface made for touch. Yeah, it's made for touch. And look, it's going to be wicked. Is it going to be perfect? Absolutely not. It is not going to be perfect. It is not going to answer all of your magical dreams. Nothing will do that because nothing is perfect. But it's going to be a massive step in the right direction for the future of iOS. And that's the most important thing that it will encourage developers, it will encourage uh, developers who haven't moved onto iOS yet to come over. It will in encourage the, our current batch of amazing developers to create even better stuff because we love our developers, man. They are the, 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 the blood of our creativity. They create this stuff for us. 
And one of the people who's here in the chat today, uh, Nino, right, has been at the forefront of getting people. Nino Beats here has been getting developers interested in iOS. This guy's work is tireless. He's everywhere getting in the, the, the ears of developers who haven't released stuff on iOS and telling them, come to iOS, come to iOS. There's been a whole bunch of developers that have come to iOS recently because of this dude right here. So thanks, Nino, for what you're doing. It's wicked. I notice it. I see it. I think it's amazing. And we want more people coming over, more developers coming over. Exactly, Dan. We want extinction level event to come over to iOS. Uh, Nino, you are killing it, my friend. You are absolutely killing it. And you're not getting the recognition that you deserve. So while you're here, I'm letting you know. Fantastic. It's just amazing what you're doing. And all right. So are we going to get like um, complete yet on, on this? Uh, no, we're not. But hopefully we are. We had Piano Tech this week, man. Piano Tech. There's so many developers that are going to jump on board. Apple have opened the door for this. Is this going to push other companies to work harder? Absolutely. Cubasis is probably shitting themselves at Steinberg. Probably shitting themselves so bad right now. They've got to step up their game. Everyone's going to have to step up their game with this because the, the one thing that's going to be the most amazing thing about Logic is it's going to be easy. That is the one thing about GarageBand that is miles ahead of everybody else. It's easy. And sometimes that's why a lot of people don't like GarageBand because they feel it's a little bit too easy and they want something a little bit more. And this is that little bit more. You could say this is almost a GarageBand extreme instead of a Logic right now. Yeah. Working on uh, Spectrosonics as we speak. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So this, let's have a look at some of this stuff. These... Uh, I'll just move over here. Here is something that you will be familiar with. And here's, here's the, another thing, why this logic looks fantastic. They haven't made it confronting for you. Look at this. I'm going to jump over to my Mac. Could you imagine people on iOS using GarageBand all this time who feel like it's time for me to step up and then they get this on their uh, iOS device? <laughs> I've seen it before. I've seen people panic when they look at Logic <laughs> on the Mac and go, ah, what is happening? <laughs> what are all those things? That's scary. How much more inviting does this look? It looks beautiful. It looks really nice. And it's been designed for touch. It's been designed around the thing you already understand, around GarageBand. And that's beautiful. That's what Apple are always really good at. And we've all seen this thing before. Yeah, this is already on GarageBand iOS, GarageBand Mac. You know, it's already on Logic. This is something that we're familiar with, yeah? But this isn't. This is something new. These are the, they're called plug-in tiles, yeah? And so these are essentially um, the, the effects that you'd find in Logic. And we're actually going to get finally the full, hopefully, the full version of Alchemy, so you can see here in these images, we've got uh, these little, these are like mini, mini windows into what these effects are. So just like Logic, you'll be able to like see at a glance these little uh, plugins and then click on them to get more, a, a bigger picture to ha what's inside them. But at a glance, you've got like this little EQ, we've got Alchemy here, we've got an amp designer, yeah, we've got a compressor, vintage tube, an ensemble, uh, we've got a chroma verb. Look at all this stuff. Loudness meter. And look, did you see that? What's in there? I know, right? Built in. <laughs> we got a luffs meter. Oh, I love luffs meters. They're so lovely. We got this sample alchemy as well. Man, this is just going to be so much fun. This is the most important thing. Logic is going to be really, really fun. It's going to be fun and it's going to be very, very powerful. I'm so excited. So this says uh, Compact View puts most essential controls at your fingertips, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. And here it is. This is what it looks like. It's very comfortable. It looks like GarageBand. Yeah, it looks like GarageBand. But you can see up the top here, a few little extra things here, trimming and all this kind of stuff. And uh, to the side, we don't have the full panel open here, but, uh, man, 
Everything just looks so much neater, nice. We've got our uh, settings and stuff down here. So a few different things, edits, pencils down here, keyboard. And they've made this absolutely for touch. This is all for touch. And yes, you can export your old GarageBand projects or new GarageBand projects from your iPhone over into your iPad. And did you see this? Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing there. That is a mixer. <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Look at this stuff. And look at these little, little LED lights up here. Look at them. Look how cute they are. <laughs> look. Look at the actual numbers. Look at them. <laughs> Do you know, we've waited so long, man. How frustrating is it always with uh, GarageBand moving the sliders and having no idea how many dB you're moving them? It's so frustrating. You just want to punch the wall. But no, there's actually dB. Three. Look at them. Uh, it, it sounds so silly that I'm getting excited over this. But, you know, it's been a while, Apple. We've been waiting a while. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. It looks great. There's more pictures to come. You're going to want to have one of these, man. Yeah. Look at this. Drawing in. Drawing in velocities. Vo uh, um, volume velocities. Effects velocities. There's actual options for different velocities you can draw in with your pencil. Or you can do it with your finger. With your finger. Lovely stuff. So, yeah. Uh, everything's... Um, all supercharged for your magic keyboard, which I have here. So you've got all your shortcuts. It's just going to be really, 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 really fun. Okay, let's go back over. And uh, now I've seen people complain about this, saying this looks the same as GarageBand. And you know what? It, it is at the moment. It's going to be exactly the same. You're going to get all of these instruments. And it says, so... Here, if we go down to our sound library, we've seen this before. All these uh, artists, all these uh, producers. So you're getting all the stuff that's already in Logic GarageBand. And there's going to be more of them. And here's the thing. Get instant access to an expanding collection of royalty-free loops, samples, and instruments by downloading free sound packs inside the app. Now, see, they're not really free. That's what you're paying for. Right? That's what you're paying for. Right? And I know Apple are a $2 trillion company or whatever it is, but um, it looks like they've got a dedicated team working on this. This is what your subscription is going to. Not only this, getting more and more things updated and added to your, your subscription, but further roadmap items as well. So this is the good thing. They're going to add more and more stuff here. That's great because uh, GarageBand has been floundering. With, uh, they've been giving us how many 808 packs for the last two years? <laughs> I don't want that. I want some really good stuff and I'm more than happy to pay a subscription for it for 59 bucks a year for me. Thank you, Ron. Um, yep, people are complaining and you know what? It's okay to complain. I'm not bitching that uh, people can, are complaining. You you should complain. If you want to complain, complain. But, you know, spend more time making music. Why sit here focusing on this? Oh, I'm so angry about this thing, all right? I'm so angry about this thing. Shut the fuck up. Go make music on the thing that you like making it on. Cool. It's cool. You know, I used to be one of those people who when something would come out and I was really angry and I'd go and write on people's posts on Facebook underneath their posts and go, I I'm not happy. I don't do that anymore I don't because I can't be bothered. And when people do it on my posts, if I write, hey, I'm really excited about this thing and somebody writes under my post, I hate this, I just delete their comment. I can't be fucked reading it. Like, why, why drama dump on me? I don't give a shit. <laughs> So look at this. This is our side profile here. And none of these are open, so we're not exactly sure what's going on in here. Yeah, but we've got instrument patches, audio patches, loops, samples, plug-in presets, patterns, favorites. What? 
Our sound library is all to the side here. You know? It's all to the, look at it. And this all is going to open up. And there's going to be more inside. There's going to be more. <laughs> I am so pumped for this. I can't fucking wait. I will be, I'll be recording a song in it immediately and, and just super, super keen because there's so many good things. See all your sounds in one place quickly and available. Instrument patches, audio patches, plug-in samples, loops, audition stuff. Oh, my God. Yes, I was a keyboard warrior. <laughs> you know, you can't go wrong, man. At the end of the day, they're offering it to you for a month for free. Make your decision. Like, if, uh, I'm, absolutely, I'm telling you now, there's going to be things in it that we're going to be pissed off about and go, but why didn't they do this? It, it just is what it is, you know? Hello, Stephen Tucker. I, I agree, Stephen Tucker. Oh, I'm fucking so excited for Logic. Bring it on. Um, predictive filtering system, which means AI. <laughs> I, I love how they're not talking about AI in this too. What is it? Machine learning, Apple call it. Very cool. Keep away from AI because AI scares people. People lose their shit. They think the Terminator's coming and it's not. <laughs> they hear AI and they're like, oh, we're all going to lose our jobs. We're all going to lose our lives. Everything is over. Machine learning sounds so much more friendly, doesn't it? <laughs> I like machine learning. Uh, but th this is great. You know, look at GarageBand. We normally have to go over here and click this to get our loops and it, it opens up in another little thing. It's all just here on the side. Yep, bring it on. Loops, everything all just on the side. Looks wonderful. Um, it says, a predictive filtering system makes it easy to discover the perfect sound. So it's going to like... What, look at our music that we've made so far and, and offer us predictive stuff? I, that sounds cool. Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, we've got our whoop, plugins, it says here. Play with pro plugins. Yes, pro plugins. So we have Sample Alchemy. Now, let's just have a look at this. What is happening here? We'll play this. It's got no sound. What is going on here? So this almost looks like within alchemy, what, have we got like, it's almost like wavetabling or like scattered parts, these four broken, I don't know what the fuck it is. I just give it to me right now. <laughs> Transform audio samples into malleable sound that can perform with your finger using the sample alchemy. And this isn't even just the sampler by itself. This looks insane. Um, just, I want it now. Give it to me, an Apple. I can't wait two weeks. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff here. This is the quick sampler. Look at this. Look at all this. Um, can I see this right? There's LFO one and... There's LFOs. <laughs> LFO one and two. We've got a mod matrix we got a pitch with glide and, and we've got a filter here. What is happening, Apple? <laughs> What's going on? There's all this stuff. This, this doesn't feel like Apple. Oh, man, look at this. We've got oscillators. What's happening? <laughs> FM. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's so cool. I'm so excited about it. Uh, it's just really cool to see all this on our iPad because I have a 2022 iPad Pro and I've been sitting here going, it's so underused, man. I, I want something that's going to challenge my iPad. The only thing that's challenged it so far was opening up uh, 12 instances of, of Terra Pro and it still didn't crash. I know, Jerry. I want to know, mommy. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Anyway, um, so we've got a, this, this is our drum shaper. Like this is a drum kit designer. So this has been in like logic for ages. Yeah. But you can actually shape and create your drum kits. Yes, please. I'm a drummer as well as a singer and guitarist. I want this. I need this. Look at this. We've got kick tuning, kick gain and snare tuning, snare dampening, hi-hat tuning, Good grief, Charlie Brown. I have to have that right now. So that's wicked. And here's the, Al the I love that they've changed the name of the alchemy to the alchemist. It's very ominous, isn't it? The alchemist. 
Um, but yeah, apparently this is the full alchemy that you would get on uh, Logic compared to the GarageBand one that is watered down. Effects, we have this beautiful, beautiful uh, chroma verb for effects. Look at this. It looks all shimmery and shiny with pre-delays and it just looks, everything looks really nice. We've got a, uh, looks like a step effects here. What? What? We've got step effects? <laughs> if you're a GarageBand user, this is, you, you know, and you're at that brick wall, this is just going to like change everything for you. And this looks familiar. You see this thing? Guess what? This is still here in uh, <laughs> Logic, but here's the good news if you're a GarageBand user. You're never really going to have to use this ever. What do we use this for now on GarageBand these days? We use it to add that extra track to turn down the EQ to stop, to try our best to stop that evil limiter when you do a mix down. That is the only reason I've ever used the remix effects in GarageBand. And I will never have to look at this fucker ever again because there will be no auto normalization on a mix down. That's all I give a shit about, really. All the rest is just eye candy. <laughs> Good times. Hello, Many Vibes. There's Many Vibes here. Good to see you. Have missed you, Many Vibes. Absolutely. I see a few people here. Goodbye, stupid thing. <laughs> Goodbye to you. We're no more. Uh, so there's our drum shaper, which looks absolutely wonderful. Uh, we have our beat breaker. So this thing, I think I can play it without getting a uh, claim. Let's see. Hopefully. No matter all the time. Probably not. The same before. It's all right. No matter. No matter. No matter. Same as with you. It's all right. Good grief. You see what this thing does? It can chop up time and pitch morphing functions, chop up vocal takes, chop up anything and, and completely, oh, good grief. Thank you very much. I'll have that in abundance, please. Thank you. That's mine. I'll have that right now. Uh, here's the sampler. Look at this sampler. Here it is, a close-up of it. It looks just wonderful. We've got beat slicing in here. We've got one shots up the top, classic. Beat slicing, one shots. Um, holy shit. It looks so damn nice. You, you could choose a waveform <laughs> in an Apple door. What? On iOS? It's crazy. Uh, we've got uh, key tracking in here for this. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. So this is uh, the chop, flip, transform samples, loops into entirely new instruments. Uh, just happy, happy days. We've got a step sequencer. You know, we've seen the step sequencer before. I'm sure there's going to be new things in here as well uh, for the step sequencer. They, they're going to have improved on everything, you know. And our wonderful drum machine designer. Uh, but the reason I, I did buy the iPad uh, last year was I wanted to make sure I was, uh, you know, proofed for the next five years. And I knew logic was coming. I, you know, here's the thing. As soon as you stop going every day, when's logic coming? When's logic coming? When's logic coming? As soon as you give up on that, it'll come. If you're focusing every day and going, well, where is it, where is it? It's, you're just driving yourself into an early grave. So build the perfect customized drum kit for your song by applying samples and a unique plugins uh, into drum pad. Drum machine designer is also integrated into the step sequencer to build beats quickly. Fantastic for people who just struggle with drums. And here's the beat sequencer. We've seen it a million times before. Looking wonderful. And here we go. My favorite part. Look at that. Can you see that? Right there. DBs. DBs. 
<laughs> in a garage band extreme product or logic, whatever you want to call it. It's just a, a thing of beauty. Two buses. I can see two buses there. And look at the effects. It's just like what Logic looks like, yeah? You can choose your instrument, all your little plugins here, all your, your AUV3s, all going to be in there so you can see them beautifully. And your levels, it just looks. And look at this. See what this is? See that underneath that finger there? Can you see it? That's a master mix. <laughs> God. <laughs> it seems so pathetic that a master mix... Is what, <laughs> like, why couldn't they have just done it on GarageBand? But no, this is why it, it's a free product, GarageBand. It's a, you know, here's the deal too. When you buy a Mac, you get GarageBand for free, right? It's a, it's the same thing here on, on iPad. You get it for free. It's limited in what it can do. And if you really want to get serious, you will buy into Logic Pro. And here we are at the same situation with Logic Pro on, on iPad as a subscription. And sure, 50 bucks a year. There's already products doing this model, right? And if, if we didn't call this a subscription, if we didn't call it a subscription, just say we called it a yearly up, update instead of a subscription, would that change the way people's minds think? So each year you pay 50 bucks for another year of updates. How about if we worded it like that? Would that make it any different? Because I'm pretty sure Loopy Pro has that model. You pay for it and then you pay $22 per year, which they've just released the brand new Loopy Pro, which is for me $22 or whatever it is. And then you get updates for the next year. What's the difference? It's still on my iPad. I can choose to remove it. You know, I don't know. I think I think it's the whole thing of, but I, I have to own it. I have to own it. The reality is the world's changed and this is where we're at. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? do? Is the reason that people want to own it so much so they can leave it to their ch children when they die? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaving you my logic on iPad. I paid $200 for it. I don't know. And look, I, I know it's it genu genuinely a lot of people can't afford it as well too. So we're living in times when inflation is crazy. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. So there's that as well. Yeah, I, I get that, Greg, that it disappears, you know. But then my words disappear every day as soon as I speak them, you know. People die every day and disappear and, and, and leave less of a mark on the world than an app. Sad but true. But this thing looks wicked. Um, and ultimately, you've got a month to try it. And if you don't like it, stick with what you've got. Here's the mixer in action. And, and check this out. Take note. This is how you mix stuff. Right? Just watch this guy in action. Look at that. You just turn shit up randomly. And just pull that one down that had no sound in it. <laughs> Watch that again. Just turn that one up. <laughs> Don't mix your stuff like this guy. <laughs> All right. He's got no idea what he's doing. Um, touch controls. Yes. Look at this. And here we go. Look at this in here. Automation. Read. Automation. Hi, Vortex. I know Vortex is excited. Right. Let's talk about Vortex, the biggest turncoat on the iOS scene. Where everybody point at Vortex right now and say, turncoat, turncoat. This was the guy who loves Steinberg so much. He was right in the pocket of Steinberg. He loved his Cubasis. And then in one day, Vortex threw Steinberg to the curb like a, like a used bitch and said, no more, you cheap whore. I'm now Logic Forever. I saw you yesterday in the chats. <laughs> Vortex. Vortex. Yeah, we're done, whore. I've had enough of your cheap cologne. I'm now with uh, Logic Pro forever. So Vortex's whole channel is going to change completely, man. We're going to be watching him make music every week using Logic. And we're going to see that little Cubasis app in the corner going, 
<laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> And he's going to be saying, fuck off, bitch. I'm having the happiest of the happiest of days. <laughs> I'm with logic now. <laughs> but anyway, getting off that. So we've got, look at this automation, parameters. We've got volume. And there's arrows. So guess what that means? We can obviously, <laughs> we can automate sound effects. <laughs> we can automate, I'm guessing, EQ. Oh, my God, look. There's EQ underneath. We can. <laughs> We can automate EQ, volume. I'm not even sure what else is under there. Who knows? <laughs> it's going to be damn fun. I'll tell you what. It is just going to be so much fun playing around with all this stuff. And you got to think, for us YouTube content creators, we just got given at least a year's worth of content for Pete. Pete's – I feel bad for uh, Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> bad. What's he going to change his channel to now? The Logic Pro Garage Band Guide. Uh, I love you, Patrick, and the Garage Band Guide. So, Tone Stacks. Now, this is a thing. Hello, James. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Vortex. <laughs> you got to laugh, man. Or if you don't, you'll cry. Uh, you'll end up like uh, Steinberg now, probably crying right now, <laughs> going, shit, we should have released a, a more touchscreen-friendly version of our app that did a lot more. Dolt. <laughs> All right, so we've got, so if, if you've never used uh, Logic before, right? Uh, you know what this is? This is track stacks. You can actually stack up drum kits into like a little folder here. See this little drop box? So you can take all your drums and stack them so they take up less room. One question that isn't answered on this is the limit. Uh, you know, I've got questions. How many tracks can we use on this? What's the limitation of tracks? We have 32 tracks with uh, GarageBand. I'm really hoping it's more than that. I would say so. But 32 tracks is really shit for uh, GarageBand. So hopefully we have more than that. Advanced features. All right, let's talk about this too. So um, there is going to be an update for Logic uh, on the Mac. I would say just before this releases because they need to. Uh, make everything work together because here's what we say. Easily move your Logic Pro projects between Mac and iPad and back. So you, you can move them back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. This is great. At the same time, it's not so great. Why? Because when you move something to Mac, you've got all the options of VSTs and AUs that we don't have over here on the iPad. So if you go and add things like that over on your Mac, it's not going to work when you bring it back over here to iPad. You're not going to have those amazing sample libraries that you have on uh, the Mac. But if you're using stock standard stuff here uh, on your iPad, which we've got a whole lot more, as you can see, a whole lot of brand new stuff, good compressors, good EQ, all that stuff is great. You may not need to do so. And the great thing is, at least if we go over to the Mac store these days, let's pop over to the Mac here, and uh, we'll open up uh, the App Store. Remember, things have changed on the App Store. If I click on my account here, here are my Mac apps. You can see I've got FAC Medusa, you know, uh, FAC Altether. So FAC... Uh, have just started releasing Mac apps as well. And a lot of these, DaVinci Resolve, uh, what have we got? Trinity, Audio Mastering. So these are all Mac apps. Mila 3, all these kind of things are universal. And here's the deal. Remember when Apple dropped uh, iOS, what was it, 15, that uh, we could do um, parody of apps? So here, iPhone and iPad apps that I can open on my Mac. There's heaps of them. There's a growing amount of apps already on iOS that we can open on a Mac. So we already have a large amount of things. And here's the kicker. 
when they released, I was, uh, I was 15, wasn't it? Yeah, that we could do this. All of the apps were turned on to work on both Mac and iOS. And they, Apple put the, the ball in the developer's hands to decide if they wanted it to work on both. So the power for a lot of apps immediately today can be just turned on and be working over here on the Mac. So apps uh, developers on iOS already have the power to turn things on. I mean, look what we've already got. We've got like Terraverse and all the Four Pockets apps work on here. This is all available to download for me in my app store on Mac right now. So at least we have some form of uh, shareable apps between Logic and here. But do we have the sound libraries? No, we don't. But if people like Nino keep doing the work that they're doing and, uh, you know, this takes off, then uh, there's going to be more reason for developers to release their sound packs there, all this stuff for us to use on iPad. The question is going to be storage. So let's talk about that before we move on to this next section. No, you can't at this time at, at release, you can't, uh, save a project, you can't open a project on iOS from an external hard drive. That will change. It will change. Um, uh, this Remember, this is version 1.0. Things are going to change. There's a roadmap. Apple actually have a roadmap to take this forward. From what I know, flex time isn't in here either, uh, but it's on the roadmap. It's on the roadmap. And that's what you're paying for. That's what this is going to, for a roadmap, for a plan. That's what we, we want to know from Apple too. We want to know, are you going to like do this? Are you going to update this? Then it's worth the money, yeah? Then it, it, there's value for money if we're getting updates because, as I said earlier, GarageBand updates very far and few between and all they gave us was 808s and a 909 and an 808 and a 909. I don't fucking want that shit. I want some interesting instruments. I want in instrument packs. I want some really cool stuff. So hopefully that's what we're going to get. And fuck, at 50 bucks a month, they should have a good team hopefully working on doing that stuff. Audio unit extension. So yes, guys, all your apps are going to work in this. It's the same frame you know, uh, that's in GarageBand. What am I hoping for as well? So you can see, you know, they've mentioned FabFelter and all this stuff. I am hoping that we are able to use AUV3 controllers. I want to use things like ZOA. I want to use Scalar in here properly, like I do in AUM. That's what I want big time. I really hope that is in here. Uh, also, there's Ableton Link is in here as well, which we'll cover in a second. So you're going to be able to use all the apps. So don't sit there and think that all the apps you've purchased over the years are gone. They're not. They're not. Hopefully, there's just going to be more and more and more. Uh, of course, you can use all your gear, all the usual stuff, audio interfaces, all that stuff. It's all going to be compatible. There's nothing else to worry about. All your microphones, all that shit, it's all good. All good. Ableton Link, boom, there it is. You can see that little Ableton Link button up there. Oh, dear, that's going to be fun. Ableton Link out to AUM. Wow. Ableton Link to another iPad. Nice. Nice. Um, Sidechain routing. Channel audio from different sources such as software instruments or loops through a variety of effects like compressors or more dynamic and hard-hitting mixes. Cool. That is a question, too, that I have not heard anybody answer. Interapp audio. I would... If I were to take a guess, I would guess that they would struggle because Apple don't give a shit about them. Um, the, the, this Could this be the, the moment for Apple to finally kill them? I mean, they've, they've been depreciating them forever. Remember that? When was it? 2015 they came out and said, we're, we're de depreciating Interapp Audio. And it's still working now. Kind of, sort of. Not everything works, but it's still there. So there's that. Got questions? Got answers? Not really. Just want it. Just give it to me. 
Give it to me, baby. Oh, yeah. I want it. I want to play with it. I want to record a song with it. The first thing I'm going to do is record some music with it. I'm going to open up a project from GarageBand, finish something off. I'm excited. Let me make some stuff with it. That's all I care about. You know? In my opinion, I'm just gonna, let's do that. My opinion of this right now is, all right, on this show every day I look at apps. I love apps, man. I love the developers who make them. They put in so much heart into these fantastic apps that we have. Doors have been another thing. If you've been on this channel for 900 episodes, yeah, you would have seen I've done series, many of them, recording a song using a different door. I've done Gadget. I've done uh, N-Track. I've done, uh, what else? Uh, Russ's favorite one, the one that you can't use audio, <laughs> record audio. I've done GarageBand. I've done uh, Aurea Pro. I've done, I mean, I've recorded songs in every possible door I, I can, you know, and tried to learn how to do it. But the one that I always come back to is GarageBand. Loopy Pro. I did a song in Loopy Pro. I love Loopy Pro. I never did one in Cubasis. I've ne you know, I'll tell you the truth. Every time I've started something in Cub Cubasis, I've got frustrated with it. And... Uh, it's just, I found it incredibly frustrating. Nano Studio. Yeah, I did Nano, Nano Studio. <laughs> but the one thing that I always go back to is GarageBand. Why? Because my workflow is just quick. I can grab a guitar, dun, 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 play in, do vocals, done. Uh, only two weeks ago, I, I uh, three weeks ago, I did a song in an, uh, an hour and a half. My last song that I released here, I recorded in an hour on this show and released it. And uh, Glenn from Spectre Sound Studio reviewed the song and said it was incredible. And I did it in an hour in GarageBand. So it's not about the door. It's about how easy and familiar you are with it. And this is why I'm excited about this. It's going to be familiar to me and it's just going to have more functionality and my music's going to sound better. So give it to me and I, I am super inspired to make music. That's all. And uh, to just fuck around with it. So I haven't really talked about uh, Final Cut, but this is coming too. We don't really know as much about this. All I know is once you make something in Final Cut and send it over to Final Cut on Mac, you can't send it back. Uh, there's a few things that, uh, yeah. I, I think we'll cover this on another day. I'm going to play someone's music right now because... I, I want to play someone's music. Let's play. Um, let's do this. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's play this dude's song. This guy's just dropped a new song. It's really cool. Um, he's in the chat right now. It came out 10 days ago. Yeah. So let's do it. This is. Friend of the channel, awesome artist. This is SM Borthwick with Pearl Diver. You 
You know how it feels to be out of your depth Like you're 50 feet down, gotta take a breath Try to keep on pushing cause you're almost there But you gotta return, gotta return Gotta come up, gotta come up forever out there in Scotland. <laughs> Can you imagine how cold he was out there sitting on that, sitting on that rock? <laughs> Man. The things you do for rock and roll, eh? That is Scott Borthwick. He's uh, been around this channel a long time. I've interviewed him on here. I've interviewed a lot of you guys. Do you realise I've done over 100 interviews on this uh, channel with so many amazing artists from this community who make music on a Mac, on iOS, on PC. It doesn't really matter as long as you're making stuff, yeah? You don't have to buy every app that I show on the show, you know? I say it all the time. Apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all. But if you see something that takes your fancy, get it. Make some music with it. Because the developers put in a damn lot of work to make these things for us, you know? And um, hopefully, I, I saw yesterday in chats yesterday, so many developers just excited. It was like yesterday there was this lifeline pumped into everybody. Everybody had a fire under their ass yesterday going, man, logic's coming. Sure, it's not the full logic yet. Who gives a shit? I'm excited. Because they know Apple spent a lot of time uh, putting some stability into this. So, uh my pleasure, Scott. Thank you so much for being a supporter of this channel, just like all of you are. I'll tell you what, we're not doing an interview this week. We're doing this show instead, right? But uh, next week, boy, do we have a wicked interview for you. And we've had some sick interviews. We had Billy Gould from Faith No More. We've had Jordan Rudess here on the show. We've had some amazing people. We've had uh, people from movies on here. You know, we've had some really great uh, artists, creators, and next week is going to be no different. We've had developers on here, and next week we have Matthew Fetcher from Audio Kit Pro, who's going to come on here and tell us the Audio Kit Pro story. And uh, it's going to be a blast because Matt is a jet setting. He's like the Ric Flair of the app world. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Goodness me. I am high today on, on music. On, on creativity, really excited about the future of making music. And um, you know what I'm going to open up right now? I'm going to open up trusty, trusty old, crusty old GarageBand. Look at this. This is GarageBand. This is the thing that is going to be left in the dust. My friends, it's going to be uh, no more. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to move across from here. And I just want to show you something that I've been working on. If I can find it, um, shit, have I named it or not? Uh, yes. So a couple of weeks ago, before I got banned from YouTube, remember, I'm the only iOS uh, tutorial person who's been banned from YouTube for a week for hate speech. You got to love the irony. I haven't really talked about it here on the channel, but I got done for hate speech because I released a song about how bad hate speech is at the moment. And somebody reported my video for hate speech, which was talking about hate speech. 
You can't make this shit up. So my video was removed from uh, YouTube. But guess what? It's all good because if you want to see the video that uh, that I got banned for, you can always go to my website at jadestar.com. Dot, dot au and there it is right there on my website try taking that down bitches <laughs> i can't play it on youtube but there it is uh kindercore <laughs> which was made using n-track studio yeah uh and luma fusion all right let's go back over here to garage band because i've been working on a new fmc song and i uh, thought i'd, uh, I'd play because the last time uh, i was working on this it was a lot different and uh, this has been upgraded. It's all been rearranged. So I'm going to be mo I think I'm going to hold on to this and, and not finish it until Logic comes out. And I'm going to move all this over to Logic. And uh, let me add the vocals in here. So this is called um, <laughs> Concrete Enema. <laughs> I'll let your mind imagine what a concrete enema is. Uh, so it's pretty brutal. It's, uh, of course, FMC, my death metal band. And uh, let's have a listen, shall we? Let's do it. If you recall, if you go back, I wrote this in, you know, put this together in, uh, what, about an hour on live stream because that's how easy GarageBand is. And that's the reason I bought this up today is uh, th now we're going to, I'm going to have so many options here. I can't wait to open this up. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's going to be fun when it's finished. Now, I've learned my lesson for video clips. It'll just be endless shots of concrete trucks, spinning concrete, because I can't do anything too full on because I don't want to get done for hate speech. <laughs> Uh, this is look at Cold Acre here. Such a cool song, dude! I sent you this three weeks ago for you to add guitars to it. And you still haven't sent it back to me. Pull your finger out, motherfucker! Seriously, dude, or you're out the band. I'll just get Hugh Caldwell to do all the single, all the solos. Hey, Hugh, hope you're doing well. But can you imagine when I open this up in Garage in uh, Logic Pro? I know, right? With all these cool things we're going to be able to do with an actual. Oh, it's just too exciting. Too, too, too exciting. Super pumped about it. As you can tell, uh, it's going to be really fun. Let's close this song. Uh, cancel, close, get rid of this. Um, 
What I'm going to do uh, for the rest of the show, we've got, uh, what, uh, 40, 40 minutes, yeah? And then after this, Pete Johns will be up doing his chat about logic. I can't wait to hear Pete's opinion. It's super exciting to hear what Pete's got to say about it because poor old Pete, I love Pete so much. You know how much I love Pete Johns. He's been doing GarageBand for a long time. He's been the gateway drug for many of us. Uh, hey, Cold Acre, hang on a minute. Cold Acre, me and my brain is my song. My song, dude. I decide when I release it, so don't give me that. Anyway, <laughs> Pete Johns, man. He's the gateway drug. He's how I found, you know, a lot of these YouTube channels. Mm, loving this COVID. But he's he's like, he's outworn GarageBand. There's nothing more for him to do. He's done everything he can. And I just feel so good for Pete, who's finally got a whole new thing to play around with. I can, I just... I could only imagine Pete waking up yesterday and seeing the announcement and going, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, good stuff. I'm really excited to see what Pete does over the next uh, year. I mean, we've all, uh, for a lot of the content creators here, uh, Vortex and a lot of us, it all gives us an opportunity for more content and to delve into uh, these things and make more music. It's just everyone's going to be making more things. That's It's so cool. So for the rest of this show, I'm going to play you some more music from people from the community. I'm going to close the show out and play you some songs live. Uh, <laughs> also, what I want to do is uh, open up another GarageBand project right now because I've been working on uh, something for some friends here, uh, Joe and Barry Glenn. And um, I've got to finish these drums for them. So I was going to uh, mess around with some drums here for a little bit, show you a bit more of my process if you want to hang out and do that with me. i just got to make sure I've got the right mix here of this. Let me open this shit up. Uh, what have we got? Files app. Uh, where are we? Downloads. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, there it is. Uh, Lucy, final mix, Joe's iPad. I think it's this one. Just make sure. Um, that's the one there. J Drums three. I think this is the right one. So this is, I do believe, the latest mix that uh, Joe and Barry Glenn have sent me. For their song, which I'm uh, doing drums for. Would you like to hear some of it? Thank you so much, Nino. Thank you. 
So I haven't really decided how we're going to end this uh, here. Uh, I was looking at this yesterday. And uh, what we need to do while we're here, it's a great song. It's a cover. Now, this has gone back and forward. There were some parts that were out of time with the, the music, but we got it all in. This is all in time and sounding good. Um, I reckon it's really fun. Uh, this Definitely, these aren't the finished drums. There's some definite issues I've uh, got to fix up. Too many cymbals, too many, too many crashes in here, so you can see... <laughs> That's okay. Keep it simple. We're going to change this. I'm going to change this crash here back to a ride. Get rid of this crash as well. So we've moved to the open hat here. Get rid of this crash as well. Too many crashes in there. These ones are going to be fine because we're going to alternate these crashes. So we're back to hi hats. So all those crashes have been fixed now. This is my favourite tom roll in here as well, this one. Okay, cool. So that's now fixed. Um, and once all these drums are finally like in right order, I think all the rolls in here are right. I like that one. Thank you very much, Doctor's Orders. Always good to see you. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put a roll in here as well. No, we're just gonna alter this a little bit because we just got these uh, this uh, kick in here. So, um, so we want to do a, um, okay. okay, so what we want to do is put in another snare here. And we'll put in like a, uh, we got da 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 Oops. There we go. Let's see how this sounds. Perfect. A nice little snare roll into that change, and uh, for this one, we've just got a uh, nothing too fancy in there.
Cool. Now, the question is, quickly, how do we end this? I'm not really sure. And I'm so thankful that you do pole vault. <laughs> What's going on, pole vault? Because hopefully, you know, this is just not just iOS. Hopefully you pick up some things about just recording and stuff like that also. And, or you just have fun. Because this show is not, you know, uh, for as long as I've been doing this show, you know, I do get people complain to me and say, oh, you, you play too many people's songs. I come here to see the app at to see the tutorial and you open the show with somebody's music or you talk too much or, you know, I don't like the shows where you interview people. I don't really care about the shows where you sing songs. I try to put a bit of everything in here. It's I've, I've always said this from the start. This show is not just a tutorial show. This is a, 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 a variety show almost, yeah? Like a daily serial, uh, like an app variety show. Hopefully there's something for everybody. Even if you come here to just like laugh at my stupidity, my idiocy, that's cool too. Um, because I uh, just want to inspire people to just make stuff, yeah? Just do things. And that's why I play people's music on here. Because it's important. It is important to celebrate people's music, yeah? Instead of me just telling you what to buy or this is good and this is that. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't play people's music to show what people are making with it. Um, so. Now, see, I just stopped it here because Joe comes in with a, is it a djembe or something like that? Whatever it is. Or a cajon. But maybe we need some kicks in here, yeah? Maybe just a... Uh, Maybe just what I did before, just a. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let's see. fix this up now because I'm just dicking around so let's get out to our edit screen and uh, see what works because it's all trial and error yeah uh, let's just fix polish up these notes a bit these you can delete these go to to see they're a bit off and then we can humanize them later just to get them on the grid for now and then we'll go back and humanize them that's what I always do with these drums especially when I'm not pl actually playing my kit, which it's a bit hard to play the kit live on the stream. Now, the quick way I can do this is just come in here and go boom, 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 and just copy these three, like so. And now we can just delete all this. And we can just copy these in, in each place. And if I want to do more, I can do two. Or I can do four. But just for an idea, let's just get this in. Um, well, Falcro, um, thank you, Hugh. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm glad you all uh, you have no complaints. Well, <laughs> let me complain for you. Uh, you know, I've done prank phone calls as a little old lady, Gladys Worthington, calling complaints departments of stores, complaining about the complaints department. Do you know how meta that is? It really fucks with people's minds. Maybe I'll do it live on a stream one day. <laughs> uh, you realize that the entire reason I want to learn Apple is you absolutely inspire people. Well, thank you, Falcro. I really hope that to see you make some music soon, my friend. Yeah? 
I really hope for you, Falcro, in the next few months, you stop dicking around on your show, which I'd, I'd like you dicking around. That's all right. I want to see you make some music, my friend. I want to see everybody make music. Let's just throw in here. Let's go down here and we'll put in, let's do this. Let's uh, uh, create. So I've created an auto drummer in here and I'm going to go in and edit this auto drummer, right? And I'm going to take out the kicks and I'm going to take out all this stuff and I'm going to click on these symbols. And I'm going to let the auto drummer do it for me. How nice is that? Let's take out. So we'll go back here. We'll take out these fills. We don't need the fills in there. We just need a little bit of. This saves me a bit of work. <laughs> we'll bring down the volume. copy this or we can just extend it yeah all the way to here should we put another one in there Um, let's try this. Let's uh, edit this. And put in there. Maybe a... And we'll take the velocity of this symbol. And we'll pull it right down. Why, when I'm clicking on that, am I getting... That is weird. <laughs> that was weird. GarageBand, what's happening? Uh, so we'll extend this out a little bit to there. What do you think? That's a nice ending to go from uh, the real drums down to that breakdown. We can lower those kicks as well. Let's save that for now, and I'll definitely try my hardest to get that finished for today and get that off to the Glens. Uh, yeah, good stuff. You know what? I want to play another song from somebody who, who I love, <clears throat> and um, let's do it right now because there's an interesting story about this. Uh, do Let's play a song. Let me mute. So this is a dear friend of mine who I love lots, even though sometimes he's an absolute cunt. This is Russ8889. He's done this remix challenge, which uh, I think you can access it here through the, I don't know if he's added it here. Yep. So if you go to Russ's channel, he's got this song that he's done with Vero. And you can click on this link here and download the project and you can remix this if you want. 
Yeah. So I suggest everybody get involved. I wish I had time to do it as well. But download the tracks, give it a remix. Uh, this is Russ and Vero. We love Russ. He makes amazing music. And guess what? He's got a new album coming out really soon. And fuck me drunk. I've been mastering it. And it's fucking incredible. If you thought the last Delicate Giants albums were amazing, you ain't heard nothing yet, my friends. The next Delicate Giants album is going to blow your fucking minds. It is amazing. I wish I could play you a song. I really do, but I'm, I'm forbidden. So this is a blindsided remix challenge, Vero and Russ. Let's give it a play, and then I might come back and play you some songs. Let's do it.
Boom. <laughs> Wicked stuff, huh? How good's that? So you can go ahead and remix that. Uh, the the Leela's put the link in the chat. If you want to click on it in the chat, head over to Russ 8889's channel. Click the song. You can download the files. Go remix it. Have some fun. Do something interesting. Challenge yourself. Yeah. I'm going to do some mindless shilling right now because uh, I can. Hey, if you can hit the like, that would be awesome as well here on this video and all that jazz. It certainly does help with the algorithm and all that shit. Uh, let me just open up this and I'm going to just do a quick bit of shilling to let you know some things. Um, so I have a website. If you didn't know, I do have a website, jadestar.com.au. We can find all my music. If you want to listen to it, video clips, there's so much stuff in here. You'll get lost in my website, uh, manifestos on who I am, all my music and stuff. Uh, all the videos and stuff, which you can find here, projects, movies I've made, all this kind of stuff. It is here on my website, trailers for my upcoming movie shop. So you can get all my songs from here, links to like Spotify for every band that I'm in. It's all here if you've never been there before. Also, right at the end, if you use how to app on iOS.com, it'll take you to the last tab here, which is Basically, this show, every stream, you can see even this show streaming right now on my website every day. Links to become a Wart Warrior, Distro Kid, all the stuff is here, merchandise, and all the playlists that you can imagine are all here for you to go through and catch up on apps. I put a lot of work into the website. If you didn't know it is here, it is there for you to go and explore and get lost in. Trust me, there is content up the wazoo, plus... You can become a Patreon here on the channel. As you can see, I have 62 Patreons that I am absolutely blessed to have on Patreon. And what do we do over on the Patreon? Well, every weekend uh, we get together for my show on Saturday and um, people send in songs to be mastered. We look at apps that are coming out, betas, whatever it is. I talk shit. We hang out. It is a super massive uh, positive community. I love you all who are Patreons. I'm not going to go through all your names, but I want to thank you all for being Patreons for so long since I started this channel. Without the Patreon, it, you can see even here, it tells you how much money I make from Patreon, you know, and without it, I really wouldn't be able to keep this going. I wouldn't be here at 900 episodes. You guys just, I thank you so much. And every week we give away apps. So you can see this week we're giving away like a, uh, uh, Hilda, which we looked at yesterday by Bram Boss, and Hand Clapper, which we looked at on Monday. There's the show that happens every week. And every week you can see there's heaps of apps that we give away thanks to the amazing developers who give me codes to do that. I want to thank all the developers who just support me, you know. It's a pleasure working with developers. They're, they're amazing. Without them, we wouldn't be able to make such amazing music. So there's that. If you'd like to join... You'll know a lot of the people from here. And, you know, if you want to get your music mastered, come and join up. You can join for a dollar, yeah, and just send in a track. Send in a track a week, not a problem. We'll master it. We'll get it sounding good. People will offer advice in a friendly environment. It's all the people you know and, and they care. Everyone cares, yeah? So I just want to put that out there. Now, Pete's coming up next Um over on Studio Live today. So I don't want to run over time or anything like that. I am trying to save my voice because of the inconvenient C word that I have at the moment. But I'd like to do something to close today, which I only do on the weekends normally. And I've never done this before. Pete inspired me last weekend. I was really shocked last week. Pete got up on his show and played one of my songs. Thank you, Joe. Love you so very much. Thank you for everybody who super chatted today. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough for the support that you guys give me. It really, it's, it's amazing. It really is. Last week, Pete played one of my songs on guitar and it floored me because, yeah, I've never heard uh, someone do a cover of one of my songs so well. And it was fucking amazing. And it got me to thinking, he did truth. He played truth on guitar. And you know what? It got me to thinking, I've never, ever played truth live on a guitar. I've always sung it to the backing track. I've never performed it live. 
So Pete inspired me to uh, close today's show by playing Truth on my acoustic guitar for you guys for the first time. And I'm probably going to fuck up my own song. <laughs> but it is what it is. And my voice is terrible at the moment. So I thought, what better way to get out of here? Yes, Sion did an amazing cover of Do What Makes You Happy. And I, I thank him forever for that because it's given Russ so much pleasure. <clears throat> so let's grab a guitar and let's try playing a song. I've never sung and played guitar to uh, ever. Let me pull this camera down a little bit. So See, the guitar is always ready to go with that sound hopefully you've got used to. So I'm going to have to remove this mic. And bring in this microphone here, my beautiful Rode uh, pod mic, which I can recommend. This is an amazing mic. Very cheap, very amazing mic. So let's see if I can do this song. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming and helping me celebrate 900 episodes. Letting me rant about logic. <coughs> because it's exciting. And the most exciting thing is I'm going to get to finish my Dread Circus album that I've been working on for years in Logic on this channel. You're going to see it all happen. That, oh man, it's super, super fun. Ah, show Bob and Virgin. Okay, this is Truth. <laughs> Justify the greed and endless overbreeding. Three quarters of our species still need feeding. Slavery rewards us medication to eradicate our feelings. Religious dogma, fear, or guilt, or burning hell. For not believing Stand up It is never Too late to change your life Just speak the truth And we all can Finally be free to fly the number 42 is our best answer to validate our meaning. Distracted by the gadgets in our hands, on demand and always streaming. Climate change is killing Mother Earth, her creatures now the oceans bleeding. The system's fucked and every year the poverty and the suffering's increasing. Divided left or right, they're lying in plain sight. As we fight, we must unite. You know I'm right, I'm not wrong, the truth is in this song. How can anybody hate the joy of love between two human beings? Diversity is strength and not a weakness we should be Life's become so valueless, our children fight in wars that have no meaning. Blinded by corruption, there's no value in the money that we're seeking. Stand up, it is never too late to speak the truth. And 
melody that we're creating. The social media collects our info to control our want and need it. The truth is lies and now accepted as the truth in our communicating. things that make you happy mistakes make you better we'll all rise together see you tomorrow for who knows what it's a mystery love you all thank you for all your support you are the best boom we'll all rise together cause you make me shine better together